Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to be telling you all about Bamboozle. So what is Bamboozle? Bamboozle is a website right here, bamboozle.com, where you can take a set of questions with images or GIFs and they can be turned into a game. But the best part is you don't have to create the game. The game is made for you using all the questions that you either find on Bamboozle or add yourself. And I know as an online ESL English teacher slash tutor, I don't have a lot of time to be creating games, but I love using games in my classroom because children love playing games and it is a fun way for them to practice and review using their English or whatever subject that you teach in a classroom or online. So what can we do with Bamboozle? I'm going to show you. So first of all, here are some pre-made question sets. It says these are the games, but these aren't really the games. I call these question sets. Think of like a deck of cards. Think of each one of these boxes as a deck of cards. And when I click on that deck of cards, let's say Thanksgiving questions, I now can see every card in that deck. And each card in that deck has a question or a sentence or a picture or a GIF that the student needs to use to answer a question. And then I can take that deck of cards and they will be turned into a game. So the great part about Bamboozle is you can find pre-made question sets like these that are made by other teachers just like you about thousands and thousands and thousands of topics by doing a quick search. For example, if I type in nouns, I will find all these question sets related to nouns. Pretty much anything you could ever imagine is already there for you. Or you can create your own question sets. That way you can choose the exact questions that you want in your game. The great thing about finding the pre-made sets is you can also make a copy of them and edit. So if there's any questions you want to take out or add, you can do that as well. So finding the pre-made sets will save you even more time with creating these games. So once you have your set of questions, then you can use them to play a game with your student. So if I click on, let's say, plural nouns. So here are my deck of cards. So each card has a picture. It has the word, the singular form of the word. And then when I click on it, I can see what the answer is. But this is not the game. This is just for you, the teacher, to look at and see the questions in this set. Then you can go over here, and this is where you can play the game. So when you click on play, there are nine different games available on Bamboozle, but these are not all free. So they have a free version, and they have the paid version. The main Bamboozle game, the first one here that says Bamboozle, is always free. So that's always available on the free version. The ones that say Bamboozle Plus are the ones that are included with the paid version. And then the World Pup Soccer is new, so you are able to play this one for free, but this one is only for a limited time. So keep in mind, that one will not always be free. So just to kind of give you an idea of how you can use this in your classroom, I'm just going to open the game of Bamboozle. You will notice that in all of these games, it is so customizable. And the reason that is so important is because as teachers or tutors, we all teach different things. We all teach different class sizes. We all teach different class lengths. So being able to customize these games make it possible for English tutors like myself, where I teach just 1v1, I am able to use these games, but also a classroom teacher that teaches 25 plus students are also able to play these games. So for me, I can make my game smaller where I have just one student playing or a classroom teacher can create teams, split their classroom into teams to play. I can make the game smaller itself, the grid size, so it doesn't take as long to play the game. I only teach 25 minute lessons. I need these games to be very, very short. I don't want it to take up my entire class time where a classroom teacher 
might have more time to spend on these games. Not only can you customize it for the length of time and the amount of students you're use, teaching, you can also customize it for difficulty. So there are many options, which I'm not going to get into on this video. I have power-ups that make it more challenging and different themes to make it more challenging. So you can make it easier for those younger students. I teach five-year-olds, so I'm able to make the games easier for them where I also teach 15 year olds where I can make the game more challenging for them. And you might think, well, how can I play this with just one student? Well, there are ways to make just one team. So your student can technically play on their own with you as the teacher guiding them, but who likes to play games by themselves? I know I don't. So for me personally, with teaching one student, I play against my student with your classroom your students would just play or could just play against each other. Or if you teach a small group, your students could play against each other. But my students know that teacher Kendall sometimes gets questions wrong. And I do that because one, it forces the student to pay attention when it's my turn. And it also helps with their listening skills. So they're having to listen to me, listen to my English, to see if I got the answer right or wrong, and they have to tell me. So it's also testing their knowledge when I'm answering, oh, is teacher Kendall right or is teacher Kendall wrong? So it's so much fun to play with my students. My, especially my youngest students love when I get an answer wrong. They think it is hilarious. So if I'm playing with two teams with a grid of eight to make it a little bit smaller, just so you see what it looks like, I'm gonna do a questions only. So the great part about this is also the student doesn't have to click on anything. So it works perfect for a classroom setting with a whole class, but it also works really well with online teaching. So if you're using a platform that doesn't allow the students to click, that's fine. They don't need to click. They can answer everything and do everything verbally, and then the teacher can click for them. So how all these games technically work is they have to answer a question in order to play the game or to advance in the game or to get points in the game. So with the regular bamboozle, the student or group team can pick a number. Everything's verbal. And then they have to answer the question and then you check to see if they're right. If they get it right, they get the points. If they get it wrong, they don't get the points. Excellent. So the teacher is able to initiate and guide everything in the lesson. Of course, if you're teaching an, with an online platform that does allow the students to click, you have that option as well. You can let them click on the numbers themselves or let them do all the interactivity, but you don't have to. And that's what makes this platform, this website so great for all teachers. It is able to be used in virtually any setting with any type of classroom. Then there's also ways to send this to your students to use at home. They have a share button where you can actually turn on a pin, send them a link, or they can write down that pin and they can actually play the games at home. And they also have some other tools. They have the study where it's just all those cards where they can just practice and see if they can get them all correct. It's a great way for them to study at home for tests or just have fun studying outside of the classroom. And the slideshow can be used at home or in the classroom as well, just going through the slideshow and practicing saying the plural nouns. So the games are excellent, but I really, really love all the game choices they have. Even though the regular Bamboozle great game is great, there's so many ways to customize it and change it up. My students' favorite games right now would have to be Snakes and Ladders because what kid doesn't love Snakes and Ladders? Tic-Tac-Toe, of course, is always a favorite with all of my students. And then the newest game, World Pup Soccer. So I could not live without having Bamboozle Plus. I got to have it. My students love it. Plus, it makes a variety. Doing the same game every time can get a little stale and boring. So I love having the option to play many different games. So excellent way for you to use it in any setting, any type of classroom, in-person, virtual, tutoring a teacher, anything that you can imagine, any type of topic that you could imagine. So 
how much does it cost? Well, I said there is that free version, but you only get one game except for the free one that's available now. But the Bamboozle Plus, I would say, is very reasonably priced. I don't think it's that expensive at all. So if you go down here, let's see if I could find it. Here we go. So you have the basic, which is available for free, of course. And then you have a monthly option of $7.99 a month or the yearly option, which you pay $59.88, which is the equivalent to $4.99 a month. And let me tell you, I am not a salesperson. I don't work for Bamboozle. I don't get anything for this video, but I love using Bamboozle and the price I did the yearly, it is well worth the price. And I highly, highly recommend also joining the Facebook page because even if you're not using it right now and you're just looking into it, or even if you just have the free version, I highly recommend joining the Facebook group, which I'll post in the comments, because they are awesome at answering questions in there, listening to suggestions. I think I've been in the group for two weeks now, and I've already seen them implement or start preparing to implement multiple teacher requests and ideas, which is amazing to me. I've used so many different platforms, so many products, so many products, and I've made suggestions on every single one, things that teachers want, teachers love, and usually I hear either no response or they say, oh, thank you, and then nothing ever comes with it. But they actually listen to their teachers. It is Awesome, awesome, awesome. So like I said, this was just a general overview of how I use Bamboozle in my classroom, how you can use it in your classroom. I do plan to make a video for each of the games. I made one for World Pup Soccer already. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. But if you have any questions about wanting a video for making games, finding games, saving games. There are so many different things involved in Bamboozle. I'm going to try to make a video for everything, but of course that can take some time. So if there's anything that you really want me to make a video about first, make sure you let me know so I can get that video started before all my other ones. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye everyone.